Hi there, I'm Dredge, and welcome back to the deep. I know I said I would be recording uh, a couple days ago, but my baby daughter was just born four days ago, and I've been busy doing that. So, sorry for the delay. We are back to Subnautica. We are here at our survival pod. And our job... I got a radio message. Our job is to listen to the radio. Play it pre-recorded distress call. This is Ozzy from the cafeteria. What the hell, guys? They didn't want us this might happen. Our pod was almost crushed by the Seamoth Bay on the way down. Now we're hanging on the edge of a cave system, and this grim-looking snake thing's trying to eat through the hull. Come get us already. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Okay, we need to make a radiation suit. And that is the plan. I think I need fiber. Um, thinking about fiber, I'm pretty sure I can get that from the kelp. So that is our next mission. So let's go find us some kelp. And we also have a grab trap. <laughs> this little guy's got a little floaty sucker on him. That's funny. So, grab traps. Uh, they just start absorbing fish, I think. And I can just walk over and grab them. And it makes fishing very easy. of fishies. That I can keep for later. Bladder fish, you can use them for for air, I think, when you're underwater, or you can cook them for food. Or you can turn them into water. I've got a full stack of water. So I'm going to go ahead and make some food. I think I have too many fish. Let's actually go ahead and release these guys. So I can... Drive. I'll keep these three for air while I go get some kelp. What are you? Oh, that's what the spade fish look like at night. Awesome, awesome. Uh, let's get our map up. So that's the manatees. There's a leviathan. Always worth checking leviathans, I bet. Because they've got those little nodules on the back. And these, uh, those little brain coral guys. Enough 
fiber mesh here? Uh, no, I don't. Well, let's put our... Let's put all that in there for now. Turn that to bleach here. Those are the flares. I need salt. Okay, I can't turn that into bleach. Alright, well. We need to find lead. So I need a different kind of mineral. I'm not sure where to get it. We'll just follow this uh, beacon and look for mineral deposits. Seems like a good idea. Someone mentioned to me that uh, Thank <laughs> you. 
30 seconds. Almost finished identifying him, but let's go get some air. And then we'll go ahead and finish the job. taking care of her, so she should be fine. There's a PDA. Alright, so fuck me, fuck me. Alright, let's get out of here. Anything else to scan? 30 seconds. Have I scanned you? Space. Let's try to get more sandstone. Oxygen. Okay, let's get some more sandstone before we head back to base to craft that suit. There's some gold, yes. I love some gold. This is sandstone, it's all smooth, right? Yes. Okay. This is limestone. Passing 100 meters. Yeah. Oxygen efficiency decreased. What is that down there? Let's go find out what that is. Meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Oh, there's another piece of it. See you know, Acquired. Thirty seconds. Okay. Well, let's uh let's swing back up to the surface. Oh, 
Passing 100 meters, oxygen efficiency decreased. 30 seconds. All right, let's get out of here. Let's go ahead and swim back to the ship, because I think we have all we need. We might need to have help. seconds. So I'm also going to bring a fire extinguisher. Oh, another radio message. Receiving pre-recorded distress call laying back. This is LifePod 3, uploading our coordinates. We're plugging some holes in our emergency sea glide. So if we're late for the rendezvous, don't panic. Also, don't go home without us. Seriously. Three out. Signal location uploaded to PDA. There's our radiation suit. Guess I can unpin the recipe. Gotta make a habitat builder at some point. Radiation gloves, radiation suit, and radiation helmet. A standard oxygen tank. Can I improve that? High capacity. I need glass and titanium. I have a standard one. I have a silver ore. I need glass. For quartz. Got quartz. Let's 
pin this recipe. I need more glass and more titanium. So I need a fire extinguisher, probably, because things are on fire. I should probably pack some food before I go into the ship. Oh. Rotten creep vine. Looks like you can't keep it around forever. I should make some batteries. Do I have any batteries? where their skin coloration blends into the background. Bored out tail fin. Smaller than most other herbivores. steel ingot, titanium and lithium. So, batteries, acid mushroom, we need two acid mushrooms. Let's go get a couple acid mushrooms, I guess. Those are the glowy ones. is 
is two table coral and one gold. Okay. So, two table coral. Do I have any? No. I have only one gold. Let's go find table four. What does it look like? Designed to construct habitats capable of withstanding extreme environmental conditions. Okay, so. Coffee vending machine? Trash can? Sign? Aquarium? Locker? Wall locker? Medical fabricator? Radio? Fabricator? Alien containment and bioreactor. Base attached air pump. That could be fun to build a, uh, to build one of these. So I need lead to make a foundation. That's probably where I start everything from. Locates resources and wrecks. That's probably useful to make. Ooh, this is gonna be really fun to build, guys. Okay, so, I have this, I think I have everything I need to go explore. Um, I guess I should make that Seamoth thing, right? How do I make it? Sea Glide, no, I already have that. Maybe I have to make one of these first. Titanium ingot, lubricant, and power cell. So I have some of these in my bank. A lubricant, creek fine seed cluster, and a power cell. So one of these, one of these, one of these. What is it require again? One, one, one. Okay. So two more acid. I need... I have the rubber. So, two acid, one copper, one rubber, one creep vine, and I need... one of these, okay. So, I have the copper. I need one of these and one of these. This is Avery Quinn of Trading Ship Sunbeam. Aurora, do you read? Over. Nothing nice but that. My radio can talk He's all Terra ships. They run low on engine grease, send an SOS. You know, to help, they don't pick up. Aurora, I'm out on the far side of the system. It's going to take more than a week to reach your position. Do you still need our assistance? Over. I'll try them again tomorrow. Damn, Charter's going to have us blowing our credits running errands for Altera. See what the long range scans pick up in the meantime. Let's try to find some more kelp. There's some. It's the, the glowy bits, right? Alright. There's some glowy bits. I gotta get right next to it, which is the mistake I made last time. Alright. Then I need 
acid mushroom. That's a pretty useful exploit. Whenever I need to, I can just keep my dead batteries to make power cells. Okay, that's smart. Okay, I have the power cell. What did I need the power cell for again? Oh, the mobile bay. Gotta make lubricant. Okay, okay. I had to put it on my menu. That makes sense. 
Oh. Hi. Can you guys carry me away? Can I leave? <laughs> Use vehicle bay. Vehicle. Seamoth. I need one ingot, one power cell, two glass, and a lead. Okay. Six. I have a passenger on board. Coordinates attached. We've landed a kilometer from the crash site, but there's radiation in between us and the rendezvous. Request immediate assistance. Six out. Signal coordinates corrupted. Approximate transmission origin recorded to date to bank. Data bank. Aurora survivors. Pod six. Somewhere with red, approximately a hundred down. Natural arches and rock stacks. Huh. Oh, I'll figure that out eventually. Okay. Um, I want to make this before we go explore the wreck because if that's a vehicle, I, I want that vehicle. So I need more batteries. More rubber, more quartz, more glass, more titanium, more ore, so I gotta go out and explore. Okay. So, red grass. ship is my marker. I don't have a compass. That's weird. Why don't I have a compass? What's this? Yeah. I want that. New blueprint acquired. Is there more stuff in here? I have some more stuff. It's a grab trap. I already have that. I think if I get more of what I have, it just gives me minerals. That's quartz. That's one of these exploding boys. I don't need more sulfur right now, so I'll leave him alone. 30 seconds.
100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. New blueprint acquired. Integrating PDA data. There's another one. Integrating new PDA data. 30 seconds. Well, hey, we just got a whole bunch of data. Let's go take a look at it. Once we get up to the surface, of course. Data bank. Codes and clues. Okay. Light pot six. You were gone so long, I thought you'd drowned. I was gonna try and attract someone's attention. That's not a distress flare. Stop waving around like that. You'll explode the flu line. Boom. Oh no. Crew says, don't die, and then someone exploded the crew. Blueprint vehicle, Seamoth. Okay. Okay, so my audio crashed here. Uh, this is my fifth attempt at fixing it. Anyways, so we are just swimming down to try to find one more silver, which we need for the expanded oxygen tank advanced oxygen tank. So we're grabbing that now. 
managed to get it on our first sandstone outcry. We're looking for some more sandstone, but always it's limestone, so we're gonna go ahead and start heading back to our base once we come up for air. Something tries to bite us on the way up, but we dodge it because we're just so dang fast. So you won't hear any of my clicking, which I personally really enjoy. Don't know about you all, but that's all right. At this point, I should have realized that I had two used batteries, one in the uh, scanner and one in the sea glide, which would make crafting that power cell um, a lot more efficient. It's nice to use batteries uh, more conservatively, because you can take used batteries and craft them into power cells while getting the full value out of them. So I waste some materials, eating and drinking fish that was going to hold. That again later. Let me check the radio here. This is Officer Keen in Light Pod 19. The captain is gone. I have assumed command. The last thing the captain did was give me coordinates for dry land. We regroup one and a half kilometers southwest of the crash site. Stay together and good luck. This message will now repeat. Rendezvous coordinates corrupted. Transmission origin coordinates downloaded. The glass Signal unique. location uploaded to PDA. I decide to prioritize my oxygen tank above the Seamoth. Because the Seamoth is a vehicle, so probably only useful sometimes, whereas the oxygen tank is useful all the time. But it's good to have both, and I won't be going on my journey to the core until I have both. Or not the core, but the ship. Because uh, it's irradiated, and someone's got to stop it from exploding. There's only one person around, and that's me. So here's my upgraded oxygen tank. It would be nice to have a second one for backup in my inventory, but I don't worry about that yet. So I'm just looking at my items, filling up my inventory, realize I have some things that are going bad. So I decide, what if I just eat them all and then drink some water to recover? And now that I've eaten and drink water, I need to refill, grab some fishes, some ladder fish, which I keep calling lungfish. Apologies. It's just bladder is really good. Crack some more water here. Once I've got my supplies handy, I will go ahead and look at what to do next. I realize I want to make some more batteries so I can get that fuel cell for the Seamoth. still. I swap 
swap out the battery on my C glide so I can craft with a used battery. You can use the reload key, which is R. I realize there's now a rebreather, which will help conserve air for later, so I pin that. That'll be part of next episode. If I make the power cell, which theoretically should use the used battery first. And I decide to call it for this episode. So this is where I thank you all for joining me down here in the deep. And I tell you I appreciate your likes and comments and subscriptions. If you're not subscribed, please do so. Thank you very much, and I'll see you next time, down here in the deep. I've been your host, Dredge. You be well.